Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Talking to God, and it is taken from Psalm 115. To your name give glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, Why should the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak, eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, noses but do not smell. They have hands but do not feel, feet, but do not walk. And they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them become like them. So do all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children, May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the children of man. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Now, this is the psalm that Jesus and his disciples sang uh, right before they went to Gethsemane. And today we attempt to join in and sing it with them. We uh, read our Bibles to come closer to Jesus and uh, take part in what his disciples experienced in person. We do this in a special way when we pray the psalms. For we know that these words left the lips of Jesus many times. Every Sabbath, every meal, every morning, and every evening, he prayed using the words of the psalmist. In the Psalms, we learn something about how to pray. Uh, Generally speaking, we are too formal when we pray. We feel that God should be approached with respect. Now, this feeling is, of course, correct. But some people draw the incorrect conclusion of believing that they can only speak to God in that way. They try to pray in the same way as we pray in church. But the prayers in church have a very particular style. They are meant to be prayed together by everyone in unison. Therefore, they are formulated generally enough so that anyone can add their personal needs at different points during the prayer. The prayers of the church use a language that is fitting for the altar, but our personal prayers don't have to be this way because our personal prayers address things that uniquely concern you and me, things that you are thankful for. And in these personal prayers, you could use common, everyday language. What's most important, you can talk to God about anything. The Psalms can teach us a lot about such things. For example, these prayers speak openly about doubt. 
The psalmist tells God that he can't understand why God does what he does. However, in bringing everything to God in this way, the psalm writer begins to understand how he works. Many people don't think that they can mention their doubts about God's existence in their prayers. But in the psalm that we just read, this doubt is expressed. This often occurs in the psalms. Those who are devout in their beliefs complain about their distress, whereas heathens rejoice. They say that the Lord who rules in the heavens and does whatever he pleases is an illusion. And sometimes it appears as if they are right. Yet we know that that is not the case. God's troubled servants talk to him about this in the psalm. And this is something that we can learn from him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you know that we are hesitant and filled with fear when we stand before you. How do we dare? You know us completely. And we think about the endless abyss between your holy being and our human pettiness. Everything we receive from you has been soiled and damaged. We are ashamed to show it, and yet you let us come before you. Because of Jesus, we can come to you as your children. Although you know <clears throat> everything about us and have seen every sin, you let us come with everything we are ashamed of. Everything that hurts, everything that doesn't have to do with you. We now lay all of it at your feet and pray for your mercy. You have stretched your atonement over us like a shield of grace over our entire wretched lives. Praise be to you for your incomprehensible and inexhaustible mercifulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.